be what you're supposed to be. And what you're supposed to be, irregardless whether you're from the poorhouse or the penthouse, whether you're black, whether you're yellow, or whether you're white, is simply this. The best man you can be. Because that's God's plan for you. Every one of you. All of us right here today, this moment. A lot of people say, no, you didn't, you didn't come from the garbage truck. I'm telling you right now, I did. I did. Anybody ever heard of a pack more garbage truck? Pack more. Anybody ever heard of a leech garbage truck? Leech. Those were the two types of trucks that we had. Pack more supposedly had the best hydraulics to where you could just crush all that garbage into them small blocks. Not small, but big blocks. And so it was one of those things. Get this now. Think of this. You got this big garbage truck. You ever seen one? Oh, of course you have. What do you think of those guys that are throwing that for you? Probably not much. But I'm going to change your mind on that. It's called perspective. Here I was back in the old days, man. I was trim, I was slim, and I was ready. And it was one of those deals where I drove that truck. I had five speed, dual axle, and I'd pop that thing into neutral. I'd hit that brake. I'd flip that brake that was on the dash, and then I would be leaping out of that truck, and the truck was still rolling, and then it stopped. I'd get back there, I'd stop right here, stop right there. I'd snatch up three cans in that hand, three cans in that hand, woo! Throw it in there, shake them out, boom, run there, run there, boom, back in that cab, boom, right there, boom, now I'm gone. Next stop, same thing, same thing. 500 times to fill that truck up. Every now and then I yank the power takeoff. You know what a power takeoff is? The power takeoff is the thing that engages the hydraulics so I can do what? I can pack more garbage. Okay, now, this may be on a history test, who knows? Now, back in the old days, back in the old days, the perception was that he's just a nasty garbage man. You know, sometimes during the summer, that garbage, you ever smell your garbage in the summer? What was it like? Woo! I know, yeah. <coughs> Dirt all over me, all that stuff. And I can remember one day it was burning hot like a two-a-day in Clinton. Because I played there two years ago, a ball game in Clinton, Lord have mercy. It was like 100 and what, 50? It was hot. Yeah, it was hot that day. But it was one of those things where it was a hot day. And I had shorts on, gym shoes, no socks. I had some, you know, support that I needed, and then bam, I was throwing this garbage. I was flipping them, I was running, I was doing my best. Because even though I was a garbage man, my dad had taught me, it's a job, do the best you can do. So I took his advice. Bip, bam, boom, bip, bam, boom. I bent down, and all of a sudden, when I bent down, something hit me in the shoulder. It's like it went on fire. And you know what it was? There's this kid, he's 10 years old, he's up in his house, and he's on the top window, and he shot me with his pellet rifle. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. You want me to shoot you with a pellet rifle, send you that? Now, here's the moral of the story. I'm kind of jagged edge back then, in the young days. And so I went up there and I was beating on that door, boom, boom! And his mom was saying, go away, you're crazy! I said, I want that boy out here! Long story short, I go down about five more stops, my boss comes up, he punches me, he called me a crazy hillbilly, I punched him back. He said, what are you doing? I said, that kid shot me. He looked back, I still had blood come out on my shoulder right there. He said, we calling the cops. Cops come, pop, 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 all this stuff. Well, what are you doing there? I, we, we, he, he don't have a pellet gun, but he said, do you mind if I come in? Cop goes in, goes upstairs, here he comes. He's got the pellet rifle. 
Guess who had the last word? Go on, guess! Go on, guess! Yeah! And you know what I did? Cop said, you can put him in jail if you want. I said, no. I said, I just want one question answered. Why'd he shoot me? You know what the kid said? Just a garbage man. He just a garbage man. I want all of you to understand this real simple, <clears throat> real quick. You ain't just nothing. You special. You special. I don't care if you're an offensive lineman and you run 7-5. You be the best 7-5 offensive lineman you've ever been. I don't care if you're 5-6, stretching to 5-7. It don't matter. You be the best 5-7, 5-6, whatever. 